Welcome back to my channel YouTube. Today I've been getting crafty in the garden. I want to say thank you to the DIY Mommy. I'll pop her handle here, her YouTube channel, because she gave me a lovely shout out um, on her channel. And I was inspired actually when I was scrolling this week through Instagram and I stumbled across her Ottoman tire DIY. So I had some tires because my little brother is a mechanic, so he was able to get me some tires for free. And I was like, what can I do with these? Um, and I'm on a bit of a garden and buzz at the moment, so I was like, I want to try and make some planters out of tires. So you can pick up tires pretty much for free um, if you go to like a local salvage yard or like a mechanics they might have one or two that they'll give you for free. So I had some leftover garden paint as well from my last DIY. You might remember when I painted my wishing well it was way back in I think it was in spring I done that. So I had some leftover paint, had some rope and I was like hmm what could I make? Spruce up the garden, make a little planter and make it look nice. So the garden is at that kind of changey stage. For us anyway, I know a lot of you guys are in America and you're still in like high summer. It's turned into autumn overnight here. The weather has been poop. So the planters I made today, I put in some kind of autumn winter plants. I've put in some like winter pansies, have some cyclamen in the tire behind me. I can't believe it's gonna be winter already. So I'm gonna show you how I made my like tire DIY. I made two planters. I have one hanging on the wall behind me. So that gives you like two ideas. And then I have one in the front garden that I use as like a planter where I use some rope. In my room tour videos, I was reading the comments and a lot of you guys kind of wanted to see my garden. I'm really amateur and beginner when it comes to gardening, but I do try. Um, so towards the end of this video, I will leave a kind of mini kind of garden tour and show you. I'm almost embarrassed to show you because I'm like, what if a gardener washed it and goes, oh my God, her flowers are just graceful but I really do try and you guys want to see it so um, skip to the end of this video and you can have a little mini garden tour. Please give this video a like and a subscribe and a thumbs up. Hope you enjoy it and do tag me on Instagram. I love when you guys tag me in like your projects or you make something that I have made. I absolutely love that so please tag me in your crafty makes on Instagram. I'll pop my handle here and you'll find the link below and I hope you enjoy this video. I have gotten two tires, um, two secondhand tires. Thankfully, my brother is a mechanic, so he was able to get these for free for me, which is perfect. All I have spent so far is on rope, which Blondie is loving this rope. I picked this up from my local hardware store, and this is gonna be a fun DIY because I need to wrap this around one of my tires, but Blondie thinks this is a game. <laughs> in some hessian into the inside of my tire this is just so when i put the soil in and hessian also helps your bulbs if you get any frost in the winter so it's just that kind of sack material What I'm gonna pop into this, I picked some autumn friendly flowers. So these I know are from last year will last all through winter. These just cyclamen just don't like rain, um, so make sure they're well drained um, because they do kind of die off if they get too much rain. I have my little ornamental kale, I got one of these last year. Um, so these are not edible, um, but they're like ornamental, they look gorgeous in a little flower pot. And then I just have some chrysanthemums. And they just give a nice pop of like autumn blossom. Um, so this, these are the three flowers I'm gonna be popping into um, my planters.
popped onto the wall and um, with some rope and it looks really cute. I have seen this done on Pinterest where people have like hung them from trees or like hung them off like swings and things like that. Um, but I just popped mine onto the wall. The wall is kind of bare, it's just like a big white wall so um, it's a nice contrast as well with the lavender tire and then like my coloured garden gate as well so really fun and pop a colour on the wall. So I will give you a little walk around my garden, bear in mind I'm really sorry as well about the house alarm. The house alarm just keeps going and going and it's so irritating, the joys of living in a built up area. So my garden has a front and a back. In the front I have enough to fit a car in the driveway. Um, now I'm not going to show you the whole front of my house just for like um, respect for my neighbours and privacy and stuff. I'm just going to show you like my flower beds and stuff. But I do fit um, a car in the front and then I just have my flower beds at the side. I have a side entrance. I don't have like a front door. It's like a side door if that makes sense. And um, so I like to keep it nice and clean and tidy as you come to my house and my flower bed. The overall goal is to try and make it look like a cottage garden, um, which I am trying to do but it is it's so hard they're like side entrance to my house and this was all rubble and scruffy and dirty and I wanted to make it look really pretty so when you walk up to my door which is there it looks really really cute um so yeah flower bed I'm still kind of experimenting with it this time of year it's always kind of in full bloom but because it's been raining really heavy um, and the weather we haven't gotten enough sunshine some of my plants kind of do didn't grow to their best like what they should have and um, so it was a little bit disappointing in the flower bed this year but I do have some blooms and some stuff has come back from last year and just have loads of containers thankfully nobody steals these on me either so if you are a apartment or a small garden pots and um, pots are your man <laughs> It's a wishing well from my like wishing well DIY and um, I will link that DIY below that is the same paint I used on my tires and um, I used some leftover paint that I had. Welcome out to my back garden. Back garden is kept really really simple purely because I don't know what I want to do in the garden yet and I do want to get like a new shed so I don't want to like dig up flower beds and stuff if you know I'm gonna have to move a shed so Back garden is kept just grass. My shed, which I painted, we got a new fence last year because our old one blew away, um, which I painted like in a pinky shade, white wall. Keep it really, really tidy. My best advice for anyone who like has wanting to kind of do stuff in the garden is just keep it tidy while you're starting, um, and then you can kind of go into flower beds and pots and stuff. Um, but yeah, back garden, keep it really tidy. I got this garden book. It was like three ninety nine, four ninety nine. I got it in Aldi ages ago. But it was the best five where I spent. Um, it's a garden book, but it goes by like what you do in spring, early spring, mid spring, late spring, summer, autumn. And it tells you what to do each kind of like section of the season in your garden. Um, so I've been following that book. So this is the book. And I love this book. If you see it again, I'm sure you could get it on Amazon. I will actually try and link it. Um, but you'll see it goes like... Sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera as well. So you can see like, you just click on the tab and go to it and it'll tell you like what to do at that time of year. Um, let me see if there's an author's name on the back. Okay, this has a name. So Jane Courtier, am I saying that right? And it's by Paragon, they're the publishers. So I hope you find this book, but I have found this really, really useful. I hope you enjoyed today's little video. I hope my garden didn't disappoint. Um, I find gardening so like therapeutic and there's nothing about like going back to nature and the balls of when you plant something and it grows. Um, so yeah, I hope I inspired you. Um, I've been inspired by loads of gardeners. That's why I love going to all those like garden things. If you scroll through my vlogs, you will see like Bloom Flower Festival and things like that. So. Um, you can get some inspo from that as well. Don't let it put you off if you don't have like a big garden or anything like that. And um, you can still use pots, containers, balcony gardens. Um, go search on YouTube for like container gardens and um, you'll get so much inspiration. Thanks so much for watching. See you in next week's video.